National for July 4, 2019, the threat of thunderstorm and lighting in the Independence Day. Bad weather will affect badly the salute to American event of President Donald Trump. There is a threat of thunderstorms in the 4th of July, but but the Interior Department says the event will take place rain or shine. Attendees can expect sweltering temperatures and partly cloudy skies when gates open in the afternoon Thursday. Temperatures could reach over 90 degrees, but with the humidity, the feeling is more like 100. Chances of rain for the district should be about 50 percent, with the highest chance from 4 to 9 p.m. ET. The Salute to America events are scheduled to begin at 6.30 p.m. and will conclude the day's festivities in Washington around 9.30 p.m. ET. There are many comments from Americans. They are expecting performing a rain dance. Jared Hernan on behalf of Native Americans, we will perform a rain dance to ensure it thunderstorms. I hope it's an epic, drenching thunderstorm that lasts for hours. God bless America with a downpour on IQ45's campaign rally. Glenda Frazier I pray that tomorrow be a great sunny day. I refuse to sit here and pray bad on anyone. How can you pray to God and ask Him to allow bad? Happy Independence America! Judy Berger What a group of sour pusses! Isn't this about the celebration of the independence of our country? Wow I love my country and the men and women who fought and died to make it free. Whoever the president is, Molly Block, spokesperson for the Department of Interior, said in a statement on Wednesday. We fully expect tomorrow's events celebrating Independence Day on the National Mall to take place rain or shine. There are many outdoor performances in the 4th of July. It's predicted that the weather including storm, fueled by the heat and humidity. The scattered thunderstorms form above the capital's sky could lead to a few hours of lightning, strong winds and heavy rain. Besides visitor safety. It's also unclear how rainy conditions would impact some of the main attractions of the event. Military tanks, military flyovers, several showcases of military weaponry and fireworks are expected to be part of the festivities. The president is also expected to deliver a speech on the steps of the Lincoln Memorial during the Salute to America event. Protesters, including a group with a baby Trump balloon, are expected to hold demonstrations around the National Mall as well. Many Americans are expecting the clear sky to observe those national performance. Thursday's event has been touted by Trump for several months, inspired by his calls for more public displays of U.S. military might. Nearly half of the Americans are experiencing the unseasonably warm weather in the first few days of July and the 4th will be no exception. A hot and humid day is taking shape for much of the United States on the 4th of July. Country has faced unseasonably warm weather in the first few days of July, and the 4th will be no exception. Sweltering heat will also target our nation's capital during the Salute to America event. Scattered afternoon showers and storms are also possible in parts of the South and Northeast thanks to the heat and humidity. Although the rain should not be widespread and the storms should stay on the weaker side, any evening, overnight thunderstorms could briefly delay outdoor activities and firework shows. A few towering clouds in the afternoon may provide some much-needed shade during the event, but that could give way to thunderstorms later in the afternoon and evening. Washington should see an afternoon high temperature of 90 degrees. But with the humidity, it will feel more like 100. Rain chances for the district should be about 50%, with the highest chance from 4 to 6 p.m. Storms across Midwest The best chances for storms will stretch from the Upper Plains into the Great Lakes region, where your local fireworks display may be cancelled thanks to Mother Nature show.